Hi everyone, uh, wanted to make a little tutorial showing you how to have uh, privacy or really good uh, close to anonymity with uh, your Bitcoin Cash. Uh, we're bringing this to the Bitcoin.com wallet soon, but it's not ready for that yet. But if you want to use it right now today, head on over to electroncash.org. Make sure you're at electroncash.org and not some imposter site, because if you accidentally install the wrong software, uh, they will steal your Bitcoin Cash. And so we don't want that to happen. So uh, go ahead and just click on the latest, download the latest version, four point whatever it is by the time you watch this video. Uh, and as it says here, Electron Cash now comes with Cash Shuffle Privacy Tool. Uh, it's super easy. Here's some pictures of it, blah, 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 blah. If you want to make tokens, uh, there's also the SLP edition for Simple Ledger Protocol, where you can do tokens on top of Bitcoin Cash. I made a separate video explaining how to use that. Uh, so right for now, right now, cl click download to whatever operating system you have. I'm on uh, OS X, uh, so I'm going to do a demo for that. Uh, I don't know if you can do Cash Shuffle on iOS and Android yet. Uh, maybe you can. If you can, that's really awesome. And I might even start using Electron Cash on my mobile uh, just for the Cash Shuffle feature because one of the things that makes money money is fungibility. And fungibility is just a, a fancy word for, for privacy or anonymity. So anyhow, I already have it installed on my computer, but normally you click that you are going to download the Mac OS X uh, image. If you want to, you can verify the checksum. That's a whole other video. Probably just make sure you're on electroncash.org is good enough. Anyhow, we'll go and uh, open uh, Electron Cash here. So I'm going to say open a new wallet, right? So we'll do open new wallet. We're going to call this uh, YouTube Cash Shuffle Demo Wallet, right? So there it is. Uh, we'll click next. Just use standard wallet is fine. You don't need to goof around with multi-signature wallets or uh, if you already had some other addresses or things, you can import that. Don't even worry about any of that. Standard wallet is just fine. Click next again. We're gonna create a new seed, it's just fine. Uh, if you already have a seed from another wallet, I guess you could import it. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. Just make a new seed, it's fine. Here's my seed. Never, ever, ever, ever post your seed onto YouTube because anybody with these 12 words here can steal all the money that's in this wallet. So never, ever, ever share that with anybody ever. Uh, just like it says here, warning, never disclose your seed. Never type it into a website. Do not store it electronically. Uh, so these are the 12 words. It says write them on paper. The order is important. They have to be in order. If you have even one word wrong or one word out of order, it doesn't work because anybody that has these 12 words can access the money that's in this wallet. So as it says here, this seed will allow you to recover your wallet in case of computer failure. So anyhow, we'll copy that to my clipboard just in case. We'll hit next. So now I'm going to type all this in here. Okay, you can choose a password. Uh, in this case, I don't think you need to choose a password, uh, especially because I'm just doing a demo on YouTube and you guys all know my seed. Uh, we don't need to encrypt the wallet, so let's hit next. So boom, here we go. We have a new wallet. This is the fun icon right here. It says Cash Shuffle Disabled. Uh, let's enable that cash shuffle. Now it says it's on, but you'll notice my balance is zero Bitcoin cash. Uh, well, so next up, we'll grab my phone here. And I'm gonna open my trusty Bitcoin.com Bitcoin cash wallet. Uh, and I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna click the receive button. And so here's my Bitcoin cash address. Here's a QR code. I'm gonna open my uh, wallet here. I'm gonna scan the QR code and I'm gonna send everything that's in my wallet right here. So here we go. So you can see it's sending, sent, boom, boom, boom. Let's see what happens on my screen here. There it is. So the money just arrived, right? So one big, a little over one Bitcoin cash is now in the wallet. Now here's where it gets fun and interesting. If you two finger click on this, you can do view pools and we can see all the pools here. What do you mean no pools? Come on, there we go. So it takes five out of five. You need to have five people to have a shuffle happen. And so you can see right now the different value amounts have different numbers of people shuffling. Every Saturday is Shuffle Saturday, so we'll have the most people online shuffling on Saturday. But if we sit here and wait for up, oh, there it goes. So there's five out of five people for 0 0.01 BCH. And if we wait a second, a shuffle will probably happen here. Uh, and in fact, if we go over here to the history tab, there's, oh, but I don't think I get to participate. I have to have one confirmation uh, before the shuffling happens. So you have to have a confirmation. In fact, what we'll do, so we can have multiple money to uh, to shuffle. And if you want to, if you're impatient like me, you can do this. Copy your address, 
go to pay to paste it in there uh, extra inputs right so now I'll have two inputs and we'll send uh, we'll send 0.4 BCH and I'll have 0.6 and 0.4 uh, in my wallet and what do you mean insufficient funds unshuffle the variable busy shuffling how can I Oh, because it says I, I was trying to spend shuffled coins, but you'll notice I don't have any shuffled coins yet. Shuffled coins is just a, a nice way of saying private or anonymous coins. I need to spend my unshuffled coins. It says you are now spending unshuffled coins. Are you sure? Spending and linking these coins may compromise your privacy, not uh, only for new received coins, but also for your past spending and shuffled coins. Uh, yeah, for the moment, we're going to make a YouTube video. There we go. 0.4 BCH. Send. Yes, we want to do that. So now I'll have two inputs in my wallet, right? So we can see in the history, here's my extra inputs. Uh, if you click on coins, we'll see I have two coins. So I have 0.4 and 0.6. Both of these are ready to be shuffled. Um, and shuffle status is unconfirmed. So now we just need to wait for a block on the blockchain. If you want to see um, how that's going, you can head on over to explore.bitcoin.com. And scroll down. Here's the, mo the most recent block was 11 minutes ago. Odds are within 10 more minutes, we should have a block. Uh, we'll cut the video here and skip till another block gets uh, made so that you guys can see what happens there. We're back and we just found a, a block here three minutes ago, 186 transactions, 75 kilobytes. So now let's go look at our electron cache, right? So we can see, oh, Status shuffle, it's in the queue, and then this one has two out of five players waiting for this transaction. Both of them have been converted. And it looks like one of the transactions is gonna happen here. Uh, so we have five out of five for this one. I don't know, although my my money seems to be in the slightly bigger round. But if we sit here and wait for a bit, um, my coins are gonna be shuffled. And if we go to the sin tab here, you'll see right now, shuffled available zero, unshuffled available 0 0.4, Busy shuffling 0 0.6, blah, 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 blah. So uh, if we sit here and wait for a minute, some other people will join and my coins will get shuffled with theirs. And uh, when we check this again, I'll have coins that are shuffled. Uh, in fact, if we go to coins, we can see. So anyhow, if I could do a time lapse thing easily here, we, we could do time lapse. But uh, if you let it sit, you'll see that uh, your coins get shuffled with everybody else's. And maybe I'll click on the block explorer and show you guys what it looks like. And, uh, and we can go from there. So waiting for others. What is... So you can see it's, it's busy and it's looking in here. Oh, there's somebody, I don't have 10 BCH in this wallet at the moment, but there's four out of five people waiting to shuffle 10 BCH all at once. Four out of five waiting to it's bounced around all the time. And there's some people with some dust, right? Five out of five with the dust. It looks like that shuffle's about to happen. Um, my transactions are somewhere in this ballpark, it looks like, so. So if you want to help speed up the shuffles, you can join right away with your own shuffling. So uh, I'll let this sit on for a little bit. And you can see I have two out of the five people required to shuffle this. And it would be nice if everybody would join right away. But I'll click back here once my coins have been shuffled. So it's kind of like watching paint dry to sit here and watch. But uh, the first time it's fun and exciting and interesting. But I'll, I'll uh, resume the video after my coins have been shuffled so you guys can see exactly what it looks like and how it works on the blockchain and all that fun stuff. So, and once enough people start using Cash Shuffle here, it'll make the Bitcoin cash privacy in the same league as a Zcash or a Monero or something like that once everybody's actually using Cash Shuffle on Bitcoin Cash. And I'd like to remind everybody, this sort of thing used to exist on BTC way back in like 2013 or 14, and then it all dried up and disappeared when the fees became too high on Bitcoin Core because, uh, you know, no, It'll cost me a fraction of a penny to shuffle my coins on Bitcoin Cash. It would cost me 50 bucks maybe to shuffle it on uh, BTC. So anyhow, Bitcoin Cash is the future. Uh, Try it today. It's absolutely awesome. It's fast, cheap, reliable, and now private thanks to Cash Shuffle. Uh, see you once my coins have been shuffled, and I'll show you what the, the transactions look like. I'm not sure exactly how much time went by. I was watching some uh, Colin Instead of Coin Spice was streaming live on D D D Tube or something like that. I was on. YouTube at first, and then I popped on over to uh, dlive.tv and I was watching his live stream, and then I figured, oh, I'll check back and see uh, how the shuffle is going. And uh, we can see, here's the shuffle. And remember, before I just had two inputs, 
And now we can see these ones that say shuffled, 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 and two out of five for this one. So you can see 0.2 coins, Bitcoin Cash are not shuffled yet, but 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.1, plus 0.1 are all shuffled. So if we go to the SIN tab, we can see I have two, two buckets of Bitcoin Cash. I have the shuffled or anonymous or private coins. I have 0.78 uh, Bitcoin Cash are shuffled, and I have 0.2 that are busy shuffling. And so now if I want to pay somebody, I should definitely use my shuffled Bitcoin Cash because if we look at them on a blockchain here, it's like, let's take a look at this one. View, try to copy a copy amount, details, I guess details, maybe here we go, oh my God. Transaction ID, that's probably what we want. So we'll go over to the block explorer here and we'll paste that transaction ID in the block explorer and we can see the transaction, right? Slowly. But surely, okay, here we go. So here's summary. Here's the interesting stuff. So here's a bunch of different inputs, right? One Bitcoin Cash, 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.35. So anyhow, here's uh, the output. This is where it gets interesting. So we have five different inputs, zero through four. So that's five inputs for different amounts. But here we have the output of exactly the same here, exactly the same here, exactly the same here, here, here. So you have five outputs that are exactly the same and then some change. And the change goes back into the ready to be shuffled uh, bin or whatever in your wallet. But these other, other five here are exactly the same. So people have no idea which five outputs correspond with which five inputs, like which one's which, who does it belong to? what's going on here nobody knows that's why it's uh, anonymous or private or a lot more private than uh before so you can see here my wallet we have two out of five players for the next one and we'll close the telegram here so we don't get some additional notifications uh anyhow if we wait here for a little bit longer uh i'm sure if we check back another half an hour or something all of my coins will be shuffled uh but i think i'm gonna watch uh, d tube uh, a bit more because uh it's coming up on midnight here in St. Kitts tonight. But anyhow, uh, let me show you guys how to use it. So I'll go back to my, my cell phone here and I'll open my Bitcoin.com wallet that has uh, no money left in it because I sent all of it. Uh, I sent all of it to there. So here, now I'm giving away my privacy again. You can see here's my address. Ooh, and I'm using the camera to record this. Otherwise I could scan this QR code right, direct from my webcam uh, but the camera's in use. So anyhow, uh, normally you would paste your own address as to who you want to pay to, and then you can spend your shuffled coins, and those shuffled coins are really nice and private. So when I'm done recording this, I'll bounce the money back to my cell phone so that uh, it's on there. Uh, super easy, fast, cheap, reliable, and now private or anonymous uh, Bitcoin Cash. Uh, we shouldn't think that the anonymity is ironclad yet. We should do some more research into that, but... Uh, People are looking into it. So anyhow, if you like, uh, and it's certainly much, 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 much more private than BTC. Uh, so anyhow, if you like this, uh, share it with a friend, share the video, show them how to set up a Bitcoin Cash, uh, Cash Shuffle wallet, uh, and tell people, hey, you want to bring more economic freedom to the world? Start using peer-to-peer -peer digital cash that can't be controlled, uh, it's blocked, or even monitored by anybody at this point. And that's uh, obviously Bitcoin Cash. See you all in the next video. Good night, everyone.